Will you all kill in my name? How's it going everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here, aka Big D. It's time to review Into the Badlands, Season 1, Episode 1, the series premiere titled The Fort. This is a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode, make sure to go to amc.com slash Into the Badlands, watch the full episode there. And uh, again, AMC fans, if you're new to my channel, I also review AMC's The Walking Dead, also Fear the Walking Dead, so check that out on my channel, guys. Links down below, maybe some of the playlists are there. Uh, this Friday, Marvel's Jessica Jones is unleashed into the world on Netflix by Friday night or Saturday morning. I will have all 13 episodes reviewed on the channel, so make sure to have that uh, subscribed or favorited uh, and get ready to get the annihilated Saturday morning, Friday night. We're going to have some fun, aren't we? Here we go, Into the Badlands. Should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give you my pros and cons and final score. Let's get to it. Let's get the work. First off, Sonny saves this boy. Uh, he had a he had a fight, you know, the opening fight and everything, where there's this chest, and in the chest there was this boy named NK. But there was this epic fight. It was about a two-minute fight, man. Sonny's just knocking people down. Sonny's our main, uh, pro, was it, protagonist? The main pro protagonist. And he's kicking ass, man. He's like, you know, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, like, bah, 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 bah. he's going crazy, man. He has, like, a bunch of sticks and everything. He's impaling people, throwing people in trees and everything. He gets, he's, like, full hidden crouching dragon tiger, whatever that the, the movie is. He's like, Meow. it's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty damn awesome. It's something new for AMC. So, anyway, he saves the boy in the chest. The Baron makes a speech. He takes him to the fort, and that's where the Baron, you know, there's training and everything. Will you kill in my name? You can be... The next clipper, will it be you? Or will it be you? Or will it be you, my sweet soul children? Yeah, that's pretty much what he did. So that was cool, man. I like how the Baron talks. He talks like a sweet southern boy who loves maple syrup at night. I like that. I like that a lot. So, uh, there's a medallion and everything, and, you know, the, the, the Baron named Quinn, he is having headaches, man, having much headaches. Uh, a lot of the boys work in the poppy fields. Sonny gets a tattoo, every tattoo he gets to a life he took, and he's going to be a father. They just drop the bomb on us. I'm, gonna, I'm pregnant. Looks like I'm done with this show. You're pregnant. I can't deal with this. Bye-bye. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, wow, that's that's intense. So, uh, he can't have it. We can't have it. Sorry. So, anyway, uh, MK blinds Ajax because he becomes possessed. You know, if he bleeds, he becomes this possessed, you know, warrior. He kicks the a Ajax kid into the wall, and he ends up grabbing this knife that, like, the glass, and he throws into the guy's eye, and he basically blinds him. It's pretty damn intense. Um... The widow, which is another baron, wants the kid, MK. Sonny is ambushed, and there's this epic four-minute fight, dude, in the rain. And he talks to the widow. MK tried to get the medallion back, and he, the medallion is in the baron's, um, Quinn, in his son's room. And he ends up getting caught. He's going to be executed in the morning. Sonny lets him go. He ends up escaping. The baron talks to Sonny. Sonny walks in. I know it was you, Sonny. I caught you. I caught you good. I caught you staring out of the fields this morning. What's beyond the Badlands? I'm going to upgrade you, Sonny. I will upgrade you. I want you to be closer to my family. Just a little close. You're gonna get away from the barracks. I feel safe with you. You and me are the only ones who know how to fight. We are the only ones. And let's face it. The other barons, they're coming for me. We are the only ones who could protect this for. I need to know son if you are on my side. 
or if you are against me. Either way, that's what happens, long story short. Anyway, so overall, here are my pros to the cons, man. Here are the pros. Do I even have to say it? The action in here is freaking intense, dude. I mean, literally, the swords and the, you know, wing, 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 wing. It is awesome. The action, the choreography in here is mind-blowing, dude. The, the, the counterattacks, the, the fist, the jumping. It's all insane, dude. That's the main reason why most people watch this show. The ending of the episode, I do like how Sunny ended up helping. Sunny kind of does have a heart, so Sunny is helping MK, and MK escaping was a cool thing. Sunny, the character, the actor Daniel Wu, let's be honest, I'm not going to lie. His acting skills are a little, I feel like he talks like this. Yes, Baron, I will help you. I must talk in a clear voice so people will understand this dialogue, because this dialogue is so weak. I have to talk like this. I will protect you, Baron. I cannot do that for you. I cannot make a promise I can't keep. You know what I mean? Like, just... Sonny's a cool character when he's fighting, but when he's talking and everything, I feel like he's just a written character. The Baron Quinn. I do love the Baron Quinn. I love his beard. I love the way he talks. I... I already love him. I, I feel like he's a good, a good Baron, but he also could be a good villain at the same time. And the speech of him, Are you killing my name, my sweet children. I love it. I do. The only cons I really could say about this is it's slow. Parts of it were slow. Let's be honest. And you know what they did to keep people watching? At the end of each airing, it would say, up next on the Badlands, and it showed an action scene. I'm like, oh my god, really? Do you really? Are you really desperate for people to get all the big ratings for this show? Really? So it did have a few, like, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. When it's not in an action scene, it's pretty damn slow. It's pretty damn slow. And it's not as interesting. 85% of the people are watching this because of the action. Most likely. There's only two action scenes, really. Really. If we're talking about action, action scenes. In this premiere. The Baron's son is annoying as hell. He pisses me off. Kill him. I don't want him in this season. I don't want him. The Baron's son, he's going to turn against his dad. Probably get his dad killed or something. I don't want that. Get him rid of him. Some parts are just not as interesting. That's basically all I could say about the cons, you know. Uh, again, some of the action, I mean, all the action was great. And Sonny is still a cool character, but he's still not as likable. Uh, I do like how he kind of showed that he has a heart and he kind of helped the, son, the guy escape NK. So that was really cool. But other than that, I'm going to have to give this episode, this premiere of Into the Badlands, a solid B, secondarily a C+. Plus. I think it was a good premiere. It wasn't a great premiere, but it wasn't a bad premiere. It's just a good premiere. Uh, the action, again, the directing was okay in here. You know, it had good directing. It wasn't great directing, but again, it was good directing. The writing in here is... The dialogue could, you know, it needs some help. It needs some, exp you know, it needs a, 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 a true storyline instead of just dropping everything on us. And, I mean, come on. You're going to announce that the girl he likes is pregnant? Day one, really? Come on, guys. Come on. Don't drop everything on us, man. Like, we know what this world is. We do not. Build this world first and then tell us. Don't just drop every single thing at us at once. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope all of you enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know what to do about the series premiere of Into the Badlands. And I'll see you next week for more. I'll be back for episode two. We'll see what that does. Episode two definitely does help a series out as much. We'll tell what the storyline will be next week. And I'll know whether I'll be reviewing it weekly. Spock be with you. Always see you Friday for Jessica Jones. <laughs>